Let me tell you, it smells so wonderful in the KC Live kitchen right now. We're happy to have Chef Carl Thorne Thompson, the owner of Story, with us. Chef, what are you making today? I just heard you put a little sizzle in. There we go. Yeah, we're making walleye today. All right. Uh, some walleye with Brussels sprouts, uh, spiced pumpkin puree, uh, wild rice, and pomegranate seeds. All right. Well, talk to me. What was your inspiration for this particular dish? It's really it's a, it's a straightforward seasonal dish. It's uh, Walleye is great this time of year. It's abundant. Um, it's from Lake Erie. Uh, Brussels sprouts are also seasonal, wild rice as well, so very seasonal, the pumpkin also. Yes, all right, I have to admit I'm not the world's biggest Brussels sprout fan, however, I, I know that you make them taste oh so delicious, what's your secret? My secret is uh, we just season them, we put a sear on them, season them, and uh, we cre create kind of a hash, we do, uh, you gotta tell me the secret of your stove here. Uh, yeah, and it looks like you've diced them too. You have yeah, it's not the Brussels sprout gonna, that I'm used to. We're going to serve them two ways. We're going to saute them, and then we're also going to make a, a little bit of a salad with some blanched leaves, nice. pomegranate seeds, and uh, olive oil. We got a lot going on here, Chef. I'm impressed. We do have a lot going on. All right, so tell me about this this legendary pumpkin puree. Is there a mag is there a magical spice that I need to know about? We use uh, we use the traditional fall spices. Uh, Clove, allspice, cinnamon, and then we, we use a, a chili from Peru, Aji Amarillo. Oh, it's a that. yellow dried chili. It gives it a little bit of spice, uh, a little bit of sweetness as well. Now, have you unveiled this at your restaurant yet at Story, or is this about to be unveiled? It's, it's there. It's on the menu. It'll be on the menu probably at least until Christmas. So seasonal. Uh, All right. Seasonal, yeah. Now, Story uh, recently won a Wine Spectator Award for Excellence, uh, for your excellent wine program. So what sort of wine would you pair with this dish? I noticed that you brought some. I brought a Chardonnay today. It's uh, Central Coast, Calera. Um, it's, it's a fruit-forward Chardonnay, not a lot of oak behind it, but it's also it's got the richness to stand up to the puree and a little bit of acidity to cut through it as well. Yeah. Excellent. All right, let's get back to cooking. What are we uh, doing now? We're, we're going to uh, turn our fish with a nicely golden brown. Yum. And we're going to start the plating process here. All right. Got my puree it's warmed up. Just going to uh, swipe it on the plate. Um, salt again. Spoon. Brussels sprouts. Nice. Brussels sprouts. Brussels two sprouts. Ways. Brussels sprouts, two, sprouts two ways. Two ways. Because <laughs> you can't get enough of them. Look at that. Listen to that sizzle. That is outstanding. Secret stove. Well, I say we bring Michelle in because you are almost done, and it looks phenomenal. All right. Ooh, here, let me still for you. Let me Excellent. not. Uh... There you go, dear. All right. Thank you so much. It looks delicious. Can we? I'm going to. I just oh, wait, just finish it. Yeah, just finish it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But wait, there's more. This is Should where it gets garnish? good. Yeah. More Brussels sprouts. More Brussels, More Brussels sprouts. sprouts and pomegranates. I like Brussels sprouts. I think they're a, a great addition to any meal. And so I'm um, excited. Oh, chef, you did good. Now you've got a big event coming up, yes? We do. We're doing a, a dinner with Pete Doolin. Uh, <laughs> Don't mind us while we eat. Go on. Ahead. Go ahead. It's, uh, Last Bite Cookbook. We're doing a dinner November 29th. We're doing uh, some of my recipes that are in the cookbook. Uh, will be featured at the dinner. And uh, yeah, November, 20, November 29th. Oh, OK, dig in, girl. Mm. Mm. Very light, very flavorful, delicious. Thank you. Ooh, that pomegranate. I just got some zing. So the Brussels sprouts, the key is don't overcook them? Don't overcook them. Make sure they're seasoned. Uh, sometimes people find they're bitter. A little sweetness on the plate as well helps that. So mm. that's my secret. Bacon, too, if you want bacon in them. All right. And when you suggest delicious. a bottle of wine, go with that bottle of wine. Listen <laughs> to the man. Thank you, Chef. Yeah.